Okay. Yeah. It, it's ah, oh, good transitional thing. It's like <laughs> it really is. It, it, it has been. Why well, not a lot has gone on in technology this week. There have been some very interesting technological versus civil liberty other thing. You know, basically politics and tech. Um, it's, which one of these do you want to start with? They're all just... Well, I'm on the, uh, the judge. Order to decrypt laptop is not violated. Yeah, there was, there's a, there's somebody who is, uh, basically, they're involved in banking and they're suspected of doing things you're not supposed to do, you know, in, in, in embezzlement, laundering, sign, other things, and they're, basically, they've encrypted everything. So... You know, their confiscated computers aren't of much use to the police. Uh, so they That's said... That's so funny. Please decrypt your computer. <laughs> yeah. And they said, no, I, I'm not incriminating myself. I don't, have to, I don't have to do that. You'll figure out how to decrypt it. That's your job. Yeah. yeah. They may just get less, you know, less, uh, lesser of a punishment if they never even agree to the court order. Versus maybe what incriminates them, you know. Yeah, per personally, personally, if it was me, I, I would refuse to comply, and I would be I, I'd get the contempt of court charge, and I would tell my loyal my lawyer to appeal the thing to a higher court and keep appealing until they get the constitutionality issue, and because my guess is a higher court will eventually overturn that. <laughs> Maybe not, but I mean, all you can do is... Uh, but, but until you've exhausted your appeals, <laughs> non-compliance. <laughs> uh, honestly, um, I can see both sides on this one. You know, it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, because it's, in essence, if, if... Well, here's the thing. If private property can be seized. Right, right. I mean, right. If you're in, I mean it can be... We, I mean... Uh, that's the no, thing where it comes see, into here. Search and seizure of the Constitution. Th that, that that's what comes in here. How well was the Fourth Amendment observed? Because if the Fourth Amendment was observed to the letter of the T, then it, it there are you can make an argument. The Fifth Amendment or, or, or the one in the article? The, well, the article is referring to the Fifth Amendment, which is against self-incrimination. But we are dealing with. Uh, we, all, we, are, we, are, we are also dealing with the fourth search and seizure. So the fourth amendment was observed to a T, and the computers were seized with warrants, with signs, and everything else. But still, the fifth would apply because you don't necessarily... I mean, the reality is, yes, they have them, but it's on them to decrypt them. You know, it, it, it's on them to break the encryption on them. Um, so... It, it, yeah, I, I, it's, yeah. I mean, uh, reasonable search and seizure, so I don't know. I mean, well, we can't, we can't, I guess if you, if, if you are one that believes in the law, <laughs> you can't have something that totally circumvents the law. I mean, in, in other words, if that became a, uh, what is that word I'm looking for, if that became... Well, that, and believe it or not, that is the foundation of our justice in the United States. We honestly believe it's better for ten guilty people to go free than one innocent be made to suffer. Yeah, it, yeah that became like a bastion for everybody to use as, as, as cover for, for criminal activity. Then, yeah, that, that, that's, it's going to go up in flames rather quickly. <laughs> I, 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 I know. Well, but, but l l let's play devil's advocate on the flip side here. You're going through airport security. Your laptop is encrypted. With this ruling on the books, they now have a right to order you to decrypt that thing, and there's a damn thing you can say about it. Well, uh, but if it falls in the Constitution, has to, you have to be first, it has to be reasonable search and seizure, which means you, you know the whole uh, due process has to. Uh, you, you're going onto an airplane. People are blowing up airplanes. There, there's our probable cause. <laughs> well, that's if otherwise, yeah. If other, <laughs> what do you want to say? I mean, that, you know, with the whole Patriot Act thing, I mean, it's, it's there for that. I, I, of course, I don't like a whole lot of government encroaching. But it seems like we get extreme results, and we can't ever find to seem a happy medium with these kinds of things. Well, uh, well and see, the, the reality is you come down to what you were talking about. Uh, this, these 
we, we I mean we develop this stuff to assure people's privacy uh, and, and so forth. And the reality is, all the tools that can be used to achieve somebody's privacy can also be used by bad people to prevent proof of their guilt. Uh, it, it, it's you know, it's is it right? Okay. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Like, it, pleading the fifth. Pleading the fifth for equating it to encryption. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, they asked. They asked. They asked her. Yeah, for, because it is a saying. They're saying. Yeah, so they're they're saying give us information, and she's like, I plead the no, fifth. No, no. In other words, say something. It's like say something to incriminate. Please. I mean, it's like, all right, you have the right. You know, you have the right, right to remain silent. Right? But don't, don't tell us. Tell us your. Tell us your yeah, key. Tell us you're a criminal. <laughs> uh, yes. I, I, yeah, I mean, the reality is, you are under no obligation to help the police convict you. That you, you are under no obligation to help the police to the process. It's like it's their job to gather the evidence. It, it is. Well, maybe it gets appealed. Who knows? Maybe it's going to get appealed. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, you know what? That's a damn good. Uh, I need to see the judge's rebuttal and why they say, you know, the, the, not the rebuttal, but the judge's uh, uh, statement on this, on why, does, why they feel like it's not pleading the fifth. Because it's it, it, it was basically think and about it, think about it, it, it's just like they think it's a, probably a search and seizure. Yeah, yeah the, that, that's the judge's interpretation. The judge's interpretation is this is Fourth Amendment search and seizure, and that uh, yeah, she's required to comply because the yeah, laptop was seized and the laptop isn't a person. Yeah, because let's say I have drugs in my car, I can deny the cop to enter my car, but he'll just go and get. A, a warrant, which is reasonable search and seizure based upon uh, his belief uh, for probable cause of having it in my car. You know, right? So, if he's smart, he goes to his car and says, "Please e email me a warrant." <laughs> well, I, I swear to you, dude. I was with my friend. We'll, we'll make a small segue. Going from Oz or not from Fredericksburg. To Houston, we went from Enchanted Rock to a rock climbing up there, and our car is full of camping gear and all kinds of shit. And we get pulled over by a DPS officer, and it's the Department of Public Safety, and they want to look in the car. <laughs> My friend's like, "No, you're not." <laughs> to me, I didn't care. I just want to get back on the road. Uh, but you going. have the right to say no. You do you do? <laughs> And, he was thin, thin. and you know what? Honestly, it depends on my mood. It, it, it depends on my mood. It, it, if that if the cop rubs me the wrong way or is just fucking with me because he's he's, he's cop fought with you, I'll deny him. I don't care if I have anything in there, and, and I'll make him spend all the time in the world and everything else. And, <laughs> I just tell you, dude. It's, uh, we sat up there, and I was like, I was like, look, man. Just let them look in the car. I just want, I'm hungry. I want to get. I want to. I want to get. Get <laughs> he sat there. In the, the canine unit. Uh, 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 no, uh, the reality is, at the end of the day, it's your call. Uh, there are times it's in your interest to waive your. And the, here's the thing: at the end of the day, you have the right, but you also have the right to waive your rights. And, and it, 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 there are times when it's in your best interest to waive your rights. Uh, and there are times when uh, it. It doesn't hurt you to stand up for your rights, so why not? You know, that's so. Well, the canine, the canine unit comes up behind the guy, and they, oh, sh you know, here we go, and, and he's still saying no. And the guy's like, all right, well, we'll just go get a wall. And I just look at my friends like, dude, there's nothing in a freaking car, and now we're gonna be here for 45 minutes, guaranteed, because they're gonna rip the shit and everything here, which means I'm gonna get even more cranky. <laughs> my friend finally relented and then the dog went in everything went out everything and the cops had to let us go he didn't get anything but I'll tell you it, it was oh god I, that that was my friend uh, using his rights <laughs> uh, and, and it's funny it's funny how using your rights has become un-American and so yeah, but and I believe it's very American I, I, I'll never take it away but like I said I, I was hungry I wanted to go um, and, and the truth to be told if the, if the, the cop can't will detain you I mean unless I think you can if you call your lawyer 
have a, uh, what was that, what is that the word my friend used, I forget, where uh, it causes a situation with the police officer. I forget. But anyway. Well, yeah, yeah. everywhere is different. Some in some areas, there's they have like x x minutes. Some places they can they can detain you for four hours without any charges. You know, they can just they can arrest you, impound the car, and wait four hours. You know, <laughs> so. All right. So all right, we covered that pretty well. <laughs> Let's see. The next one, FBI, what, what is, oh wait, what does the Supreme Court run against warrantless GPS tracking? That's interesting. Yeah, that's another one. Um, that's, uh. What? The Supreme Court run against. So this is, they show a picture of sign GPS. What, well, no, what, what, what cops have been doing is they have been tracking, uh, GPS things without warrants. You know, they basically just been tapping into them because they could. Uh, and the courts have finally ruled that, uh, no, we have a thing called the Fourth Amendment. I don't care what kind of probable cause you have. If you want to track the GPS, go get a damn warrant. I'll be damn. Look at the, yeah. <laughs> they were attaching these GPS things to the car. Yeah. They were, they were just tagging people's vehicles. Um, that's, that's, that's a violation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's. I, I, the reality is I look upon this as a hollow victory because what's going to happen is the cops are going to go fine. Okay, find out what their cell phone is and go to the go to the company who it's with and buy tracking to it. And then there's no Fourth Amendment violation because they're selling the service to the cops. Uh, there's a warrant, though. No, you don't have to have a warrant. And the, and the court, I know, but this is against warrantless. This, this is against warrantless. If they have a warrant, they can tag your car. If they have a warrant for tracking your whereabouts, and, and so, yes, no, they can tag your car. I don't understand how warrantless... Let's see, that's, that's a little freaky. See, oh, no, no. Gray, uh, how, many, how many gray areas do we have like this? Oh, more than you no. know. Uh, 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 the reality is the cops have gotten damn uppity in the last... 15 to 20 years, they basically said, warrant, what warrant? It's so cheap. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of like that saying that, oh, now a terrorist group can build a cruise missile for 20 grand, you know. It's, it's kind of like that thing where technology gets so cheap that things and in, 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 uh, services that were really out of reach are just now an everyday thing. Well, and, and a lot of times... Um, one of the things this does mean now that this has been ruled and there's an official ruling on the books here, uh, for the longest times the cops didn't disclose that they could track cell phones, even though they could, and everybody who was technically inclined knew they could. But they basically they would they would use it as a foot for gathering, for like leading them in the direction of information they should go gather. But they would gather it indirectly, like they'd let they let that information tell them what they should do, and then they'd go get a warrant specifically for that information. Basically, they you know they'd save on hard times. It, historically, that was how these GPS things were being used. They found themselves recently in situations where they wound up gathering direct evidence they needed to make their case because of these warrantless GPS things. Uh, and uh, basically, what this could also mean is a lot of people who are in jail might be getting out because they can now have their lawyers argue an appeal based on saying, well, wait a minute, but all the evidence they used about me, they got as a direct result of a warrantless GPS track, and we know that. So get the right appeal judge. They're going to go, you're right. All the evidence that was used to prove your guilt is inadmissible. Uh, do you have any other evidence to present? Oh, I guess you get out. <laughs> is the other thing I can mean. I mean, the, the reality is the cops need to go back to obeying the rules because why they may get away with bending them for a while. Eventually, one of these cases goes through like this, and then not, not we get, we get, we get our civil liberties, and I'm all for that. But because they were violating them for so long, a bunch of people get out who belong in jail, but because the cops didn't do their job. And it's like, do your job all the time, do it right, do it by the rules, and these things don't come up. And the cops will get mad at you for that. 
You know, a lot of people get mad at you, too. but they have a hard job. And they, no, the rules apply to everybody, most of all the people who are protecting and serving us. That's, that's the reality of the situation. That's, uh, I will be curious to see how many people get out an appeal in the next few years as a result of this. Because it, it, it's an iron pass for anybody who went to jail through evidence that was gathered directly or indirectly as a result of the use of this technique. Mm. Alright, so let's move on to this blackout, the Black March. Yep. So are you not going to buy anything for that month? That's not what it's about. Huh? That's not what it's about. It says it right here. What are you talking about? Are you reading the plain freaking you, you, You're not supposed you're not spo well, okay, it's not about, but it's it's specific to not buying any TV shows, music, and not, and, and not, and like, not watching. And, and here's the thing, they're only going to do it for a month. I, but I just said that. You said that's not what it's about. Well, no, it, 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 it's asking to not buy. Their logic is they're going to hurt the big companies. And that's not who they're going to hurt. I, 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 I mean, the people who this is going to hurt most are going to be the little guys. You know, the, the writers. The, uh, they're, they're trying to also get ratings down uh, and other stuff. I... I, I, I I don't know. Are, 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 I mean, would you? I wasn't. I wasn't. The way you answered this, the way you answered this, guys. I mean, those are important. It's economics, is economics. Because people work, they don't. Want, they they want to feed their kids. You know, that it's not just executives. Or, and and I don't think an executive is a bad thing. But I know probably a lot of the mentality of demographic is like you know big business and blah blah blah. That slant of political position. Uh, the way you fight this is. is take an interest in government. Mm -hmm. I think that this movement has done a fantastic job of exposing SOPA and, and PIPA and just keep doing that. The job should not be worrying about economic hits because they're always, you know, their job nonetheless to keep things going, you know, as a company because they make a product. They don't want it stolen. Number one. Uh, they, it is to just keep tabs. And, and get to know your local congressman and everything and keep up that work so that when these political action items come up, you sh shut them down. You know, they will be victorious that way like gun control. Gun control for years was so heavily fought. It hasn't really been talked about these last three elections. You know, I mean, <laughs> and, you know, presidential elections. It's like, because it's, it, it's, it's such a sensitive topic that really crosses your many people's uh, political spectrum, whether they're a staunch liberal or, or conservative and everything in between, they, uh, that, that uh, you don't really see that argued anymore. Um, not to say you can't come back up, but you keep up, you keep up with this, this um, great intelligence gathering. Look, they're already talking about another bill, this PCIPA. Uh, oh, yeah. Keep doing that. Yeah, I mean, keep doing that. that. That's the beauty of this country, is that we can take part in the government. And then call our congressmen, get involved, make uh, nonprofit organizations and things, and make people even more aware and, and stop this kind of thing. Doing this, where you're, you're, you're really probably aren't going to hurt those companies and the way. Well, no. And see, here's the other thing: so, when you yeah. when you do like a 30 day blackout like this, it's not saying don't ever buy the thing. It's saying don't buy it for 30 days, make this quarter sales slightly lower, which affects the payouts that the low tier people get and the percentages they get, like the, the, the writers and the actual artists. But at the end of the day, the corporation doesn't really hurt because the next 30 days and the next quarter, you're going to buy it. So, yeah, it's it, a specific it, business, it's very much like that because I will say that I get, I have boycotted the part of my dollars. But the way the, this, this, the, the media market works is that it's, it's, it's an artist-based uh, production that has layers on top of it versus, let's say, a, I, I, a specific product that is directly manufactured. There's not, none of this subjectivity in layering like, like distribution on top of it. Uh, you can extremely affect it and, and put out a business. But this, you, you would... You, you, you're, you're basically saying buy it again. See, it's kind of like different. It's different from saying this product absolutely do not buy it because they have violated this 
and they're a direct product to market thing. There's none of this layer shit. This is like saying just don't buy it for a month, but go ahead and buy in April because you don't want to hurt those harvests in the end. So my answer is what I just said, fight it politically. And I think they've been doing a fantastic job. Well, and that's something we're going to get into in, a, in another part there. It, it, it's, it's refreshing to see people actually involved in politics, but they're not involved in many ways they should be. Uh, and it, 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 you know, the reality is uh, there are actions which are infinitely more effective than 30-day little, oh, we're going to hurt the rich SOBs, you know, and oh, there are things you can do that are, I mean, the reality is the American people are who stopped SOPA. That is who stopped SOPA. The American people and organizations, uh, non-human people like Wikipedia and uh, the Electronic Frontier Foundation and Google and so on, that working together with the will of the American people is what stopped SOPA. We said, hell no, not on our watch. And everybody kind of stood up and they couldn't ignore us. They didn't really have a choice in the matter. That is not a sign. But that requires other follow-throughs. And like it's the, that's the important thing. Okay. So FBI wants spider social media to prepare for the worst. Yeah, I I have mixed feelings about this because they're basically wanting to use this to cater for like cat. What they're saying they want to develop this for is to cascade for uh, like disasters and dealing with things. You know, basically it, this would be like an early alert system. Something's going on. We can start sending the ambulances out. We can start with oh, there's a fire. We can send all the fire trucks out. We can send the national guard out. We can yeah. I, I'm not sure it's only going to be used that way. <laughs> yes. yeah, this, I, I'm not, this article is not saying it's being used that way. This seems like they want to be able to spider stuff and look for keywords. Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, the, the, uh, the FBI, the, well, that's what the article is pointing out. The FBI and the people who are behind getting this out is like, oh, no, we're only going to use it. You see what I'm saying, guys? No, this is exactly what I'm <laughs> This is why I'm not on Facebook and all that other crap. Because that's my model, damn it. Now we'll drive it until, you know, I don't give a crap if only one person listens. I am one being trust my data. It should be note and note and peer to peer. And that's the end of it. In, in other words, the internet is the medium which can never get shut down. And they need to abide by the search and seizure rules of going after each little node if they want to. This is just a freaking little easy thing. Because your data is not yours. It's in some guy's damn server freaking out there and shit. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> but it can be used for good, Ben. Your civil liberties aren't going away in vain. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I, if you thought there was any chance that they could even go into like Google little circle happy shit and, and the Facebook thing, that shit just went out the window. <laughs> Till we get to something in the it's Google crap. page. A mega upload uh, acting upon U.S. federal prosecutor's request. Acting upon a U.S. federal prosecutor's request. Request the New Zealand police arrested. Uh, it's on Wikipedia. Um, dot com and three other mega upload executives in at least 30 million electric Look at that shit. They were all the way in Auckland and at, at, the, at the request of the federal prosecutor. And yet they didn't arrest the. Second in Argentina or Brazil, man. And yet they didn't arrest the CEO. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a hash mark here in so we don't lose any of this. Yeah, go ahead and we'll, we'll just change up to the. What, now what's the